obviously, you know, very pleased with uh, how the training has went for both Epicenter and Echozoo. Um, obviously, very different works for the two of them. I felt that uh, that's who they are and where they're at right now, um, especially coming off of last Sunday's works and what I felt they got out of it. But uh, uh, this year's Oaks and Derby is extremely exciting um, from a how well how strong the races look and how well all of the horses are doing going into it and it, uh, it's going to be an extremely exciting five six days you mentioned that i mean are you feeling pressure or nerves or, well, i'm you know? not running <laughs> i'm good i'm good no i'm just, I'm, I'm unbelievably excited to be doing this well with this much on the line you know we um Pretty anxious uh, drive last night for rain and thunderstorms for most of it, and then you know, like if it's meant to be, it's going to. It just seem to everything seems to be working out perfectly. Well, it did seem so perfect right at five in the morning when you had to call up, you had to call some audibles today. Well, we just moved it back, and uh, I mean that's where we felt good about it, you know. We had a little shot of rain, a little sprinkle here and there, you know, kept us on our toes and moved out. You know, Jamie made a couple, made an extra round uh, before Oaks and Derby training, and I was pleased with how our horses first set, trained over the racetrack. They were springing off of it nicely and uh, thought, uh, you know, obviously very pleased with the exercise they put in this morning and how they're acting back in the barn. Because you have a reason for everything that you do, pretty much. Uh, Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. You know, no, I mean, not it, all it, reasons it was, are good, but yeah, you got a reason. It, it was a different work, mate, uh, for um, I, the I, epicenter. I just, um, I'm just the next, you know, the, you did, the reason. What we were looking to do with him, uh, it uh, just felt perfect about it, knowing who you know, who the other horse was, and how he goes about what he's doing. Uh, previous work mate gun it's very strong you know very physical horse and, uh, somewhat uh, you know hard to manage and stuff and I think that that uh, brings out a little extra in him especially you know getting to the pole getting off you know getting away from the pole and uh, what you're getting out of it and then you, as you saw today they were away from it a lot smoother and a lot just easier to the pole but uh, still strong uh, still very smooth I think that he's in a beautiful rhythm and uh, we're trying to create the circumstances or prepare for what we're expecting to happen the race happen in the races this weekend it seems like the one thing you don't want your horses doing in this last work is overdoing it uh, i i think that it is honestly I have so much confidence in epicenter right now overdoing it with a horse like him you know it just he has taken a lot of training extremely easy and uh, i including I, I thought he took the louisiana derby extremely easy how he came back you know from the test barn and walked into the barn and that's why his training or his works ever since have been uh, faster or, or stronger than is the norm for me steve reflect on echo zulu a bit um obviously she had a very gritty win in the fairgrounds oaks first start of the year uh, what are you are you seeing improvement and, and uh, changes in her fitness level from that race in her second start? I, I think that absolutely. Um, as far as um, I, I thought she won the Fairgrounds Oaks just on natural ability and class and she has trained for the Oaks and put in solid training and then you know huge move uh, last Sunday and I just felt we're there just went for her typical easy half mile and want her sharp razor sharp and fleet as she can be uh, come friday 